You know, I was looking actually at the like initial design document that I sent to them, um, and there's there's definitely some stuff in there that did not make it, but like the basic design was kind of in place. I was I was actually surprised like how how close it was, and this is only like a couple page design document, maybe like a few pages. I just like wrote it in a Google Doc and sent it over. Um, so you know, a lot of the basic ideas were there and kind of like marinated while I was working on the on the boss fight books and it, it kind of just it was based around you know like sort of like a few high level concepts and then just some bigger features that that I knew that I wanted to have in the game like that second layer behind the the first layer mm. of, of each level um, and being able to go like in and out between them and and mounts and um like the branching pads and things like that in the game. And just, you know, I think the the higher level concept of just, yeah, just kind of like blowing out the design and, and kind of, you know, just pushing all the the concepts that are fun in Spelunky 1 to like as far as we can take them, right? Right. So, yeah, it, it I mean, after that initial design document, how do, you know, we mostly worked actually from just like, a single Google Doc, I think, for for the majority of the development, just like adding adding ideas to there and and kind of just building it that way. And then you know, um, eventually we added we added a Slack and uh, to to kind of talk through ideas and things like that. But you know, we we got through the development with like a surprisingly few amount of like meetings you know like teleconference <laughs> meetings it was wow living the dream very much kind of like past yeah just like ideas passed back and forth through through google docs and slack and how much of it then was was just play testing and like iterative adding stuff in seeing how it feels like it feels like that type it must be that type of game um is that the case that you're just like creating new versions of it playing it feeling out what's working tweaking stuff like how much of it is in that minutia yeah, I, yeah. I mean, we're always doing a lot of play testing, and this time around, actually, we have um, a QA like team. Oh, cool! Who's been working on the game throughout the development? Just yeah, testing, testing it, um, like as we've been developing it, which is a, a new thing because with Spelunky One, we we did have a, a testing group that came in, but it was more toward the end, um, and it was like a, a group that Microsoft brought in to help us, just with the very end to kind of. Be able to pass certification right um so this time around we've had people uh at lollipop robot testing the game oh, as, cool. as we develop um but yeah i don't know i mean the i think as far as the testing goes like you know we never really found anything that was like that like just didn't work and i think i don't know i, I kind of tried to design it that way it it seems kind of weird but like you know I, I I think it, these days I'm really trying to start projects where I, like I'm not anticipating a lot of huge snags, you know, like with Spelunky 2, I feel like I understood 80% of the game before we started. So mm -hmm. it, it wasn't, I didn't feel like there was going to be a lot of kind of like exploration. I think the, I think the main like challenge was really just executing on the idea, right? Um, and of course, you know, you're you're discovering all kinds of things as as you're working. But for the most part, like those big ideas that we had to the, in the start really just made it through to the end, you know. And there was nothing where it was like, okay, this really isn't working. We need to we need to go back. Um, and you know, I think I generally I had the mindset of like, you know, if we're gonna if we make something, let's just let's just like keep it in the game <laughs> right you know like let's let's not take it out let's just um you know tweak it tweak it a little bit maybe but um spelunky at this point i think i think like we understand it pretty well and so we were able to just like come up with an idea add it and for the most part like find a way to make it work and you know the idea with this one was also just to make it like a big game you know like a very rich and dense game and so it just, you know, any ideas that, that I came up with, it felt like, well, if it didn't quite work here, there's another part of the game where we could find a place to work. So in that sense, I think the development was very efficient. 
um, which was just sort of designed, I think, into the project itself. Like right. this is a sequel. This is a game we understand well. You know, let's just take the time we have and just like actually make the game and not spend like too much time kind of fiddling around, right? 